But if I do it out there, you're sure again, 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 again. Yes, yes. I want to talk about two live crew. Yes. Nasty as they want to be. <laughs> Not to be funny, folks. Two live crew. Uh, apparently, uh, the founder of the two live crew. Yes, I found out just a few minutes ago that the founder of two live crew, which you all know, they they said some nasty things on their songs. Nasty things on their songs. Anyway, two live crew. Yes, uh, they had a couple concerts back in the early '90s, and uh, the founder of Two Live Crew has passed away. I couldn't believe it. Three years ago. Can you believe this? Three years ago, the founder of Two Live Crew, a rap group, passed away. And uh, Two Live Crew, I'll put this in bold letters. Uh, and their albums are phenomenal. Uh, they're, they're hailed at Miami area. Um, Two Live Crew, as lots of you people know, you might have seen their album somewhere, maybe going to people's places and stuff like that. Two Live Crew, folks, the founder of Two Live Crew passed away. I didn't realize this. Two, three, years, uh, three years ago, the founder, I forget, one of the guys in Two Live Crew passed away. So sad, so sad. Didn't realize that. Um, but they had a couple concerts back in the early 90s. It's a rap group that says all nasty stuff on, on their songs. Nasty stuff. Very uh, <laughs> exclusive lyrics. They, they would have this, uh, they would have these, uh, if you go to record stores, they'll have the exclusive, how do you say, exclusive uh, tag on their album, saying exclusive language. I mean, it's not for little kids to hear. I kid you not. Uh, it's not little kids to uh, hear. That's why they put the visories on albums. The exclusive uh, content that the human, that the kids would, would not really want to hear. It's stuff that, you know, outside of normalcy. Uh, yeah, so just remember, Two Live Crew, the founder, I forget his name, he passed away t three years ago. I didn't realize this. Uh, but yeah, the founder of Two Live Crew, he's, um, they have a mama's, uh, they had a few albums out. I mean, it's not just one album, a few albums. They made a, uh, they made a lot of albums out there. They made a live album. They made a, a, a pre-recorded album. There's uh, songs, I'm not going to say the lyrics to these, song, uh, these titles of these songs. You may have heard their songs several times out there. And it's just, na they, it's like the old saying goes, they're just nasty where they want to be. And they say it right in their lyrics. They say it right in their lyrics. And uh, Two Live Crew, which a lot of you people know, you might have gone to record stores in the early 90s and saw their albums on a shelf. They're Two Live Crew. Nasty as they want to be. They're not like they're not like Run DMC where they just ran the raps, uh, and they're clean. Their rap their rap words are clean. Uh, it's not like nasty nasty words out of their mouth uh, that uh, you would hear every day. Uh, but it's clean words. All all the rhymes that they do on Run DMC is clean words. No you know vanity as they would say. No uh, swear words in the mouth. Uh, on the microphone, it's just just clear f uh, rhyming words. Uh, in Run DMC, they would call it the rhyming words. You rhyme a lyric and you try and rhyme it. I think that's the way it goes in rap music. Uh, and you really gotta you gotta really rap it. You gotta <laughs> and there's a little bit of record scratching. And uh, as Jam Master J, a lot of you people don't know that Jam Master J did pass away. No joke. 2003, lost a great DJ. Uh, this back in 20, uh, 2003. Can you believe this? 2003. Uh, the mother, apparently the mother of that Jam Master J, it, they're still looking for the guy who, uh, this is, it was around the uh, April Fool's Day. And this was no joke. Somebody had killed Jam Master J. This is not, you know, there's no joke, no joke involved. Uh, somebody had, uh, apparently at the time, Jam Master J was doing some uh, recording of some album at the time. Um, and the mother of Jam Master J is still around, but they want to find the guy who did it. Uh, but it's been years and years, they haven't found any leads, as they say. Uh, but yeah, Jam Master J, if you see Run DMC music videos, that's the guy back there on the turntables. Uh, so you, you know him quite, quite uh, distinctively. Uh, but he's back there on the turntables, and the on rap music, it's all clean. And never no, you know, profanity. It's no, uh, you know, bad lyrics off the albums. Uh, so they, they make sure all their lyrics are clean. They don't uh, 
swore off the mouth or anything like that on their on their lyrics and their albums. So your kids can listen to it. I mean, great. It's it's what you call family approved album. Uh, so it's what you call family approved album. This is one you can listen to. Uh, Run DMC, they like to rhyme their raps. Uh, so it's it's like a it's like a theme. They call it the theme. So it's like that. So if you ever heard Run DMC album, it's clean lyrics, no profanity off the lyrics. Uh, you know, not like they say booty or big woman, or big booty. No, they don't just say that. Uh, they use clean lyrics, not nasty words. Uh, so, uh, Two Live Crew said <laughs> they went the opposite way. They said nasty words on their lyrics and really can't run for their money. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, who does this, really? Two Live Crew, everybody, Two Live Crew. Thank you very much. Much I really I want to emphasize Two Live Crew. Let's give it up for Two Live Crew with their song called "Me So Horny." Remember that song? It's in people's in people's music these days. Two Live Crew called "Me So Horny." I kid you not, folks. I, I didn't say it. their song said it. Uh, uh, so yeah, if you're if you're a, if you're a little child of at age of uh, five to ten, don't be listening to this song. It's a nasty lyrics. Uh, but Miami likes to put nasty lyrics on their albums. Uh, I mean, I'm not kidding. <laughs> there's no, there's no nudity. There's no nudity whatsoever. But there's nasty language, nasty words on the albums. Uh, so that's why they ban these albums. They basically they try and ban these albums. The United States got involved back in the early '90s because of the album being harsh with their lyrics, and they really banned their albums. <laughs> so, I, I gotta leave it at that. And Two Live Crew, one of the founding members of Two Live Crew, passed away. I found out on one of the YouTube videos uh, when I was typing it up. I heard that uh, one of the guys passed away um, three years ago. Very sad. Very sad indeed. But yeah, we are out of here, folks. Two Live Crew, unedited, unfiltered, unseen material from Two Line Crew. Uh, lyrics, they have about five or six albums out there. Uh, you might have seen them in record stores if you look hard enough. They're there. Uh, but they were banned, <laughs> they were kidding. They were trying to ban this album in record stores. Have nobody buy this album. <laughs> I'm not just saying it, the American people are saying that. <laughs> you know, foul language on the albums, and uh, they had the uh, stickers saying, uh, you know, uh, harsh content. And I do mean harsh content. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to, if you want to go right ahead and listen to it, be my guest. But yeah, the lyrics are very harsh. And um, yeah, if you're if you're good with that, great. Uh, but I'm, uh, like I said, I'm not promoting their album. If you if you kids want to listen to that album, go right ahead. Uh, they have warning signs on albums saying uh, the harsh lyrics in them. Uh, so if you want to do that, that's great. So anyway. Like I said, uh, there's rap records out there. There's clean rap and there's uh, nasty rap music stuff out there. Uh, if you ever go to a record store early 90s, you'll see this album cover of Two Rag Crew. It, it's well seen uh, when you go in record stores. Sometimes they'll have to hide away because due to the lyrics content. And uh, news people will mention that in their, in their uh, news stories. Uh, and they say... They're too live crew, and they nasty what they want to be. They really, uh, they kind of really bold that to their albums. Uh, and they're Miami guys, and they want to be nasty. Well, rap, rapping nowadays is kind of clean. Their lyrics are clean. They don't put some nasty lyrics in there. Uh, uh, all the way through, it's all clean lyrics. It's all clean lyrics. So if your mom and dad would say, hey, go listen to this album, run DMC. Uh, you know, it's, it's like parents approve. <laughs> you know, they're not nasty. They don't put nasty words on their lyrics. They just, uh, they just rap it. And yeah, so there you go, folks. If you want to listen to really clean rap music, Run DMC is the ticket for you guys. Uh, it's approved. Uh, they say parents approved uh, for this album. So if you kids out there like your rap records, that's great. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thank you very much. I will give you a stamp of approval. And Two Live Crew, 
you got it. You got it. You got it. You guys got it.